I'm joined at this stage by General VP Malik, the former uh, Chief of Army Staff. Sir, thanks very much uh, for being with us. You know, the, you've seen the protests and therefore, are you convinced that Agni Vs will get a job after four years? Because a lot of these protesters, and I think these protests are terrible in terms of the violence that, have, that has taken place. Do you think, you know, people are worried that they won't get a job? So are you convinced that Agni Veers will get a job after four years? Vishnu, I think uh, we have to understand that the armed forces uh, are a volunteer force. It's not a welfare organization. And it would like to have the best people who can fight the war for the country, who can defend the country. Uh, I believe that uh, the scheme has many advantages, mm -hmm. uh, many plus points. There are a few concerns which probably will be looked after or looked into uh, as the scheme gets implemented. Now, as far as four years is concerned, uh, already the government has announced that uh, there will be uh, a lateral entry into the paramilitary forces and the police forces will be given. I think some states have also announced and uh, I am sure that with the kind of qualification they will have when they go, a uh, larger number of them will get uh, inducted in the private sector also. Uh, but uh, I, I cannot at this stage say uh, that everybody will be guaranteed uh, uh, another job sure. after they leave after four years. But sir, people want to be hired for 15 years, not four, hence these protests. Let me be clear about it, that uh, firstly, uh, obviously, I mean, those people who have indulged in Gundaism and burning trains and buses, etc., they are not the kind of people that we would like to have in the armed forces. The second point is that, uh, yes, there were a number of people who had been tested. Uh, they could not complete the tests uh, for recruitment when the... Uh, when we suspended recruitment of these people. So some of those people uh, would be uh, now over age. They will not be able to be, uh, they will not be eligible for the Agni Path uh, scheme. Right. So their uh, anxiety, their um, um, frustration, I can understand because now they are over age and they will not be able to uh, get in sick. But this uh, Gundaism that is going on, uh, we are a volunteer force. Nobody is forcing people to join the army. And uh, as I said, that uh, we have to have the best people um, to be able to defend the country. Okay. So now people are trained to handle very high-tech systems. Um, you know, will be out in four years. Isn't that a problem? Look, firstly, the emphasis is there to now recruit people who are better educated and who are techno-savvy. Uh, people and uh, therefore there is also an effort to draw people from ITI and other technical institutions they are being given bonus points and uh, that is the kind of people that we want in the armed forces now um, uh, these people whether it's a short period I don't agree with that having seen how the boys performed during Kargil war some of them came straight from the regimental centers, joined the battalions which were fighting the war. And similarly, I have also seen young officers who uh, not only belong to their a particular regiment, they belong to ASC, AOC, and EME, etc. They joined the infantry battalions and they fought war. Uh, I mean, I can name Captain Hanifuddin, I can name Vijayan Thapar. Uh, they were not, uh, uh, they, but they were not commissioned into the regiment. Uh, uh, where they uh, fought and where they gave their gave up, uh, where they got killed in, uh, during action, they performed very well. So this business that four years is not good enough. Uh, I don't quite agree with that. Yes, for the technical people, perhaps four years they could be given extension because uh, uh, high tech jobs are uh, there in the EME signals, etc. In those jobs, four years may not be sufficient. We may like to give them some more. Uh, sure. But again, uh, I want to emphasize that let this scheme get into motion. And once we get to know uh, where are the drawbacks, then, they, then corrections can take place. What happens to the regimental system, sir? 
Firstly, uh, I don't think their regimental system uh, is being uh, uh, is being eliminated. It is still there. It will continue to be there. The other thing I want to mention is that looking at the number of people who will be inducted, uh, look, every year uh, we have about 48, 50,000 people who go on pension from the army. And we are now recruiting in all three services 48,000 or 46,000, something like that. So the induction in a unit is not very many. There are very few people who will be there. So I don't think the unit spirit in any way is getting affected, at least not for uh, a decade or so. And uh, uh, that regimental spirit starts off from the time a boy joined the regimental center for training. And that continues as long as he remains in the unit. All right. Well, sir, wonderful speaking to you as usual. Uh, General VP Malik, the man who won us the Kargil War along with his band of brothers, the young soldiers that he commanded.